Donald Trump is getting ready to turn on his good pal, Mike Flynn. This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. It is now being reported by the Washington Post that Donald Trump is getting ready to turn his back on Mike Flynn. That he's getting ready to go back on all the positive and flattering and complimentary things he said about Mike Flynn over the past couple of years. But before we talk about that, let's remember and let's look back on how Donald Trump spoke about Mike Flynn even in the days after he was forced to resign in shame. Uh, Michael Flynn, General Flynn, is a wonderful man. I think he's been treated very, very unfairly by the media, um, as I call it, the fake media in many cases. And uh, I think it's really a sad thing that he was treated so badly. Well, I feel badly for General Flynn. I feel very badly. He's led a very uh, strong life, and I feel very badly, John. So, Donald Trump feels so bad for Flynn. It was so unfair that he was fired slash had to quit. So unfair that he was charged and pleaded guilty for lying to federal investigators within Donald Trump's own Justice Department. Ugh, please. Let's remember, Donald Trump made General Flynn a fixture on his campaign gave him a prime time speaking spot at the Republican National Convention, and then handpicked him to be his national security advisor. And then when he was warned by acting Attorney General Sally Yates that Mike Flynn lied to the FBI about serious national security and diplomacy matters, and Donald Trump kept him on the job for two more weeks after being warned that he was a liar only letting him go when his lies became public after being reported on by, again, the Washington Post. Donald Trump's decision to paddle the other direction on this is bad news anywhere you shake it. It means he cozied up to a liar, hired a liar, covered for a liar, and was finally forced to let a liar go, and has for months defended and spoke glowingly of a liar. What this means is that all these months of trying to butter up Mike Flynn with all of the loyalty language, all these were attempts meant to prevent him from testifying against Donald Trump and his inner circle. It was meant to try to keep General Flynn quiet. And now that they know that that didn't work, they're preparing to start an all out reversal in an attempt to discredit him. Which is worse because it screams to anyone and everyone who's paying attention that Donald Trump is betraying someone he went to great pains to keep silent. And this only means that he knows he's got something real damaging about Donald Trump and the rest of his, as of yet, unindicted inner circle. Hey everybody. Thank you so much for checking out my channel and this video. If you like what I do here and you appreciate it, go ahead and, uh, click subscribe. And if you really like it and appreciate what I do and you'd like to, to join my Patreon family, there's another link there for that. It's not just for the podcast. <laughs> it's also for YouTube. Thanks a lot.